In this tutorial we're going to show you how to set up parental controls. Out of the box, iAllowance lets you do everything. Edit transactions, delete transactions, and it won't take you very long to figure out that you probably don't want your children getting in there and doing that. So how do we prevent them from making those changes? We can do that by turning on parental controls. We can get that by, to that by going to Settings, Parental Controls. We're going to turn that on, and you're going to be asked to enter a security question. So, in this particular security question, we say, What street did you grow up on? And we need to give it an answer. And we're going to say, Elm. Now, this is a question that you probably know, but your children may not. Now that we've entered those items, you'll see that our red indicator went away saying that everything looks good. We'll go ahead and hit save. And we'll back out. Now the next time we start iAllowance, you'll notice that we have a login button up here. Well, it doesn't look any different. But if I want to try and select something, I can't. I'm in a read-only state. You'll notice that the blue arrows for configuring the child are also gone. This is a particular mode where your kids can get into and actually make changes. And what can they change? Well, not much. If they go to chores, they can go ahead and select a chore. And you notice the, the selected chores come up as yellow instead of green. This tells me that they're not approved. So this gives your child the ability to go in and say, I completed this chore, but the transaction hasn't happened yet. To get in, we're going to go ahead and hit the login button and just ask, what street did you grow up on? And we're going to enter in the name that we just entered in. Now, you'll see that our blue arrows are back. We can go ahead and add transactions just as before. And these yellow checks, in order to, to trigger the transactions, we'll go ahead and trigger that and test, did they perform this chore? Yes, no, or approve all. I'm going to say approve all. Now these are all official and the transactions trigger. To log out, I can select the log out button or I can simply just close the app.